When you log into OwlNet, the Home tab is where you will begin. From here you will navigate to the My Academic Life tab. After the My Academic Life tab loads, on the left you will see a blue button that says Student Registration. You will click that button and it will take you to Self-Service Registration. When you first enter the Student Registration screen, you will typically see four options. The top left option is Register, Add, or Drop Slash Withdraw, where you can make actions on your registration. Next is Prepare for Registration. That is where you will be able to check holds on your account and see other information regarding registration status. The bottom left option is View Registration Information. This is where you can view past schedules and see exactly when you registered for a certain class. Last, the bottom right option is Browse Classes. This is where you can view the schedule of classes. It is a helpful place to go if it is too early for you to register, but you still want to view the next semester schedule. For the purpose of this video, we will only be working in Register, Add, or Drop Slash Withdraw. Now you will select the semester you are trying to register for. This is the registration screen. There are a few options when you're searching for classes. First, you can search by keyword or CRN. This is helpful if you know the exact course reference number, also known as the CRN, that is specific to the section you are registering for. If you do not know the CRN and you want to search for all courses in a subject area, you want to use the subject box. When using the subject box, you can also use the course number box to narrow your search. For example, instead of searching for all English classes offered, you can search for all English 101 classes offered that semester. The next line is the title box. Like the keyword slash CRN box, you will need to be specific. The attribute box is an easy way for you to see classes that meet certain requirements. For example, you can search for all classes that meet a diversity requirement. Meeting type is a great way for you to narrow down your search. If you need an evening in-person class, you can select that in meeting type. The last standard search criteria is open sections only. By checking the box, you can filter through results to see what sections are still open. If you need to be more specific in your search, you can click Advanced Search. This will bring up a few more options to narrow down your search. The first advanced search option is Instructor. If you know an instructor's name and you wanted to register for a class they're teaching, you can type their name in this box. Next is Instructional Methods. The search criteria you select here can help you find classes based on how their instruction is offered. For example, you can search for classes offered online only. The third advanced search option is Schedule Type. This comes in handy when you are searching for classes that may offer a lab. You can search specifically by lab, lecture, or lecture slash lab. Another search option is part of term. Searching by part of term is helpful if you know you want to take a class of a specific length, like a seven week course. By using meeting days, you can search for classes offered on a certain day or days. Last is start time and end time where you can select a start and or end time for a class. For students that have certain time constraints like work hours, this is helpful to narrow down the search to classes that fit in their schedule. For this video, we will search for English 101. To search for a specific class that you do not know the CRN for, you will want to enter the subject, in this case English, and the course number. For us, this is 101. Once you have filled out the search criteria, click search. In our case, the search only produced one result. By hovering over the box below meeting times, you can see important information about the class like when and where it is held, as well as the start and end dates. Once you have decided which section you want to register for, you will click the add button on the right side. After you click add, the class will go to your summary at the bottom right portion of the registration screen. You have one more step before you are fully registered for your class. The class's status will be pending and the drop down under action will say web register. The last thing you need to do is click submit at the bottom right corner. Once it has been submitted, the status will change to registered and the action drop down will say none. 
Congratulations, you are now registered.